Hello, good morning. My name is Padma Benjamin Duma. I'm a software developer. Um, today we're going to talk about um, Apache Solar. Apache Solar is a very fast open source enterprise search platform based on the Apache Lucene. The Apache Lucene is originally written in Java, although there there is support for C Sharp with .NET. Okay, we're for full text indexing. We're not going to go into direct comparison why to use Apache Sol Arrow or why the full text indexing is a lot better than traditional database like Microsoft SQL Server or MySQL. But I'll just leave it with this um, few reasons why to use Sol Arrow. It's much faster than traditional database in indexing. It has a near real-time indexing feature and it has something known as faceted search which is very very common when developing e-commerce sites. And you'll see it in use like sites like Amazon. So um, let's start by visiting the Solar project. I'm just gonna close this. Um, this is the Apache Solar. So we just um, what you're gonna do is to download the current release right now. As of this video, is Solar 4.6.1. So I've already downloaded this, so it's gonna save us a bit of time. Um, right after you download it, you're gonna download the zip file, then you can extract it. Um, so I'm extracting the folder in order to run the Solar um, the Solar um, service app. Um, I'll let you know that Solar comes with this um, default web JD web server. So I'm gonna go to my command prompt. Um, that's gonna take a second, right? And I'm gonna navigate to this directory. Um, gonna copy this. I'm gonna use a dos command slash slash d. I'm gonna paste the directory over here. Yeah, so um, we're within the example directory. So we're gonna run the up the project by running this simple command command Java dash jar start dot jar. And it should take a few seconds to run. Wait a few more seconds. Okay, this is taking a bit longer than I expected. I'm just gonna pause the video for a few seconds. Okay, we're back. Um, we're gonna enter the default. Um, address for the solar engine is localhost http localhost um, port 8983 slash solar that should yeah so this will give us a solar dashboard um, it tells us the version of our solar the version of the Lucene engine how much memory I have swap space and the amount of memory is currently consuming. Um, so the first thing we have to do is um, how do we add um, data or whatever we want to index into the Solar engine. You can index the database from MySQL, from Oracle, from Microsoft SQL Server. You can equally um, index XML files and CSV files. The example tutorial that comes example for the accomplished soul arrow allows us to index um, index XML files so that's what we're going to do now I'm going to open the command prompt um, if you go to the downloaded file inside the example directory you'll see a sample folder called example docs all these are XML most of them are XML files which you can use to index um, those documents so to index these documents, I'll have to navigate to the directory and run uh, this post 
and Java file. So chdir slash d. I'm going to paste this directory. Yeah. So now I'm in the directory. I'm going to run Java dash jar post dot jar and I could specify the name of the XML file that I want. Uh, I could say so dot XML, but I'm just going to use a wildcard and I'm going to index all the files in the directory. Um, Xteric dot XML. So that just took uh, less than a second and we commented all files and indexed it to the so our directory. So um, after indexing the files, how do we query or search the contents of this XML files? Um, okay, let's do this by hitting collection and if you go to the um, query tab, okay, you can Uh, we'll, we'll go into this later. Let's go into the query tab and looking at our XML file, let's um, I'm gonna open this up. Um, let's search and there's a wildcard to search everything. So I'm just going to do that first to make sure everything is okay. Um, so um, I'm just going to search USD. And it returned just um, the document with, with, with the USD num found. So, um, let me search for Solar. Um, and return the document. Response header, queue time parameters, query Solar. Response number of items found one, starts zero. So um, we're able to find something with containing Solar and return just one document. So. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on introduction to Lucene Solar. I'll be publishing, I'll be creating more videos on other aspects of working with Solar. So, thank you for viewing.